Rexar versus Uther. I will fight with honor. Let's the I remember playing against this guy earlier, but I don't remember what he was playing. Hand buff paladin? I think it was hand buff paladin. I guess I'll keep animal companion. If I remember correctly, last time he went turn 1 Smuggler's Run into turn 2 Keliseth. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Truth is found in death. Well, he didn't get the turn 1 Smuggler's Run this time. I don't think I'm as worried about pirates in this matchup. He probably is playing patches and a couple 1-drops, but probably no... Nagas or Captains. Play this instead of Stitch Tracker because it's bigger. I guess we're trying to track into Goya next turn. Gimme Goya. Easy Goya. Probably still just take the turn 6 play. As much as I would have preferred it be a Madam Goya, I guess I can't complain too much about a high main. Winter is here. That's actually pretty strong here. Oh, we drew Goya. So we're playing Piranha Launcher, use it to pop the bubble, and then we can either trade this off and then do this. So we'd have two two ones or a single four two. Probably won't have two two ones. Oh, the Goya. We still have one Galaka in the deck and one Barnes. But everything else is worth at least six mana. The Abominable Bowmen probably aren't that great, but sometimes it hits Misha. And then obviously everything bigger than that is nuts. Even Stormwind Champion would be pretty crazy next turn if I don't get Consecrated. And I honestly have no clue if that deck plays Consecration or not. Alright, I'll take it. And then I guess we're just trading off into these. Even if this thing only summons a 1 1, it's still a 6 7. 6 7 is pretty large. Damn, 5 minions in hand. Oh, that's very large. But he's pretty far behind on board right now. Probably just slam high main here. Do we want to trade Goya plus this in, or do we want to trade this in? Or do we just want to go face? We can push 12 here. We'd have high main on board, which would mean 18 the following turn, with potential for weapon, bow, and unleash the hounds. What's turn 7 for Paladin? Oh, he can have, like, Spike Ridge Steed. I guess it's not Spike Ridge Steed, because everything in his hand is a minion, but Bone Mare could really wreck me. Probably don't want to get boned. I think we have lethal here. This is 10, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 10, 10, hero power, unleash the hounds. Nice. Nice Keliseth, nerd. Alright, tracking's good. Try to pick up some crabs or animal companions or barns. Hand kinda sucks, but we've got tracking.
yikes. Well, we have the Piranha Launcher, so take Goya. Well, not much of a play here. Literally the world's most obvious explosive trap. Well, we can clean up with Unleash the Hounds here. We take an ass load of damage for it, though. But we can start dropping some dudes next turn. Or I guess it would be the turn after that, but we can drop our Piranha Launcher this turn. Oh. Man, that kind of sucks. That's going to kill my guy, huh? I couldn't have done it in the other order, though. Nice. Easy. Okay, Madam Goya. I'm going to need you to pull Lich King or Yashiraj into Lich King. Okay. Well, we're probably dead here. He needs four damage, so Huffer and Kill Command are lethal. Okay. It's gonna be tough, but we might be able to get there. Swamp King Dread protects us from... Beast kill command, but we're only at 5, so he doesn't even need the beast, I guess. If he just doesn't draw damage, though, we should be able to race this hero power. Obviously, that'll be tough, though. Play two secrets to scare him, I guess. Oh my god. Swamp King Dread. He did it. Holy shit. Cat trick is likely to trigger against mage, and animal companion is just a dude, plus we need pressure against exodia mage. Play this out, and then probably bow that guy next turn. Kill off this dude. I'm not really sure what he's playing, because he didn't quest on one, and he didn't have a play there, so he's probably not quest mage or secret mage. Some kind of weird control deck, I guess. Cool, we got our weapon charge, got our 4-2. Go ahead and cast tracking here. Easy Goya. I don't have enough mana. Be 
Play Stitch Tracker. Probably want Lich King in this matchup. He's the most value card. Excuse me, you are on fire. I could actually coin Goya here if I really wanted. But it's probably better to play Goya on 6 and then coin Lich King to follow up. So we'll just kill this guy and then equip the Piranha Launcher. Let the pain speak to me. I hunt alone. It's time. We drew Yasharaj this turn, which sucks. Ugh. We had two Galaka Crawlers versus five Fatties. I wonder if it was ever better to shuffle Stitch Tracker. I think I'm just hoping to never draw what I shuffled, though. Mana Worm. So is this just like one of the hybrid Freeze Mage lists from the previous expansion? I was really, really expecting that to be Counterspell. Well, get him, Lich King. Frostmourne is probably bad, considering that my deck has, what, 12 weapon charges on it? Oh, going face already. Let's see if we can track into something helpful here. I might just want the armor from Rexar. Oh, this actually lets me kill Mana Worm too. Alright, it's not Spellbender. Although if it was Spellbender, I probably would have just played Rexar anyway. But then I guess it was better to do that first. Oh, that unfreezes me. Calculated. I definitely did that on purpose. Man, I'm good at Hearthstone recognizing that interaction. We don't have lethal, do we? We have 16 on board. We can crush him for 8. We are surprisingly close to lethal. Let's just try to pick up... What's the 2 mana heal 5 called? Death Coil or something? Try to pick up some Death Coils. There we go. That heal five. Where shall I strike? Please no ice barrier. Oh, I can just pop him through ice barrier anyway, because I have this. Probably should have done some better math. That is not the card I thought it was. It does still let me pop him, though. I really thought that was the thing that buffs. That's not even the same mana cost. Why did I think that? Heal five. And I'm not even going to build a beast here. Just because I want as much room in my hand as possible for these Lich King cards. Because if I keep getting stocked with these, it's eventually going to be hard to get cards out of my hand. And I don't also want some like random six mana shitty beast in my hand.
Nine cards in hand. Is there a difference between being at nine and ten? I don't think there's a difference between nine and ten, because with Fireball Frostbolt he can still ping. With Firelands Frostbolt he cannot ping. So I think I can get this card out of my hand. And maybe pick up another heal or something to pop him through a freeze next turn. Okay, cool. We got him. Bop. I guess I'll keep tracking. I think Pirate Warrior is still a little common, so I'll keep the Crawler. As much as I don't enjoy keeping it. Also, keeping it makes Goya better. I'll take the Stitch Tracker. Piranha Launcher would have been the pick if I had Goya, but since I don't, I think I'll just take the 3-drop. Firefly does tell me he's probably Pirate Warrior, so I'll hold the Crawler. And this is why it's probably just incorrect to not be playing Galaka Crawler right now. Pirate Warrior is still a thing for some reason. All the rogues play South Sea Captain from what I've seen. Even seen Hunters playing it. So I think Galaka Crawler is just pretty good. Well, that's probably the world's most obvious explosive trap. But I don't want to eat 5 damage. So the Explosive Trap ends up only killing a single one too, but I really don't think he would have traded if there wasn't a secret in play. So I basically forced him to trade, which I'm okay with. A lock of me. Easy. Oh wow, he's trading. He must have the read on Rexar. Seems hard to imagine that he can win from here. But if he has like Hydra into Hydra, maybe he can. Halfway there. What is this res? Anything important? Probably just a crawler, right? But it's got six attack. Go ahead and bump into the Hydra because we'll need the two damage. And sometimes the 2 2 gets War Axe or something. I don't think this guy ever dies. Oh, I guess we do have a Primordial Drake to do the two damage. Could have just gotten two more face damage. Maybe even forced a weapon charge out of him. Yeah, I was probably actually wrong to trade there. Oh well. Your magic shall not save sure. Well, that's nine damage. Which is lethal. Nice Hydra, bro. 